Hey sports fans, welcome to the Ballers Club Press Show. I have a very special knife review today of very special knives, of which I have three. These are the Case 2020 uh, Tony Bowes collaboration pattern. This is the locking Lanny's clip point. These knives are probably, I mean, well, they're very expensive. They're probably the best knives I own in terms of just how, how nice and how special they feel. Steel and bone, steel and wood, ebony wood. They are, uh, these are premium. The things I like best about them are I love that blade shape, that clip point blade, and I love that it's a locking knife. Like usually with a case, you're expecting a slip joint. Uh, I think they had this pattern, the Tony Bowes collab in a slip joint, the locking, or sorry, the Lanny's clip without the locking in 2012. Well, this for 2020 was the locking Lanny's clip. And I, I have three of them here. I have the, uh, whatever this imitation stag is. I have the, uh, the red bone and, and the ebony wood. There's also a brown jig bone version, which I don't have, I could have. And there's also one, it looks sort of similar to this and it's the, uh, the micarta finish. So it's just, uh, imagine instead of uh, the wood, it's, you know, the, the micarta, the same color. All very nice, the micarta, I know that's technically a traditional material, but uh, you know, if I'm buying a knife, especially if it's gonna be like an outrageously expensive knife um, in a traditional sort of pattern from a traditional company, I want it to be either wood or bone. So, so the stag bone's quite nice. Um, I thought this would be my favorite, but it's probably my least favorite. The pattern's kind of random. This one actually, it had a bit of a flaw in it. Um, it was right there and I had to send it back into case to fix. Uh, there used to be a little bone chip right there. But actually, after I got it back, I thought they were gonna have to put a new cover on it. Um, I compared the pictures I had of the chip that I sent in to, to when I got it back. Um, and I, I see that it's the same cover. So I don't know how they actually fixed it because the material doesn't look to be particularly thin there, but they fixed it somehow. And I'll put, you know, the picture on the screen up there or somewhere um, to show you what the chip looked like. And it's fixed. So I don't know if they have some kind of a filler in there or something that they use, but I know it's the same cover. These knives have an upgraded steel from a regular case. So these are 154 cm. I, I wish it was even better than that. I wish it was like a CPM 154 and even an S30V or, or something. Um, but either way, it's, it's quite a bit better than like the regular, uh, you know, whatever uh, case, you know, the, the, the True Sharp or their, their basically 1095 steel. Um, the shields on these are pinned versus glued, which case normally glues their shields. And look at that blade thickness. That's a nice thick blade. Uh, consistency across all these, they all feel pretty much exactly the same. Uh, this one I carry the most often. So it's, uh, it's sort of broken in, whereas the others are still kinda, they have a little bit of a gritty feel to them because they haven't been opened and closed that many times, but man, these Tony Bowes collabs, I just love. And you can see the, the Tony Bowes logo on there and everything, his name's on there, and the fact that it's a locking knife. And it's just the perfect size for me, in my opinion, that three inch blade is exactly what I want. This is like a gentleman's knife. You could wear this with your dress pants or you could put it in the bib of your overalls too. I mean, not like this, because when you go to look down, you... Um, it's at home anywhere. This is a durable knife. 
It has a nice little sharpening choil on there too. So, you know, it doesn't have right back to the, the Ricasso or whatever. It doesn't have the blade all the way there. So it's kind of awkward to sharpen. Just beautiful. What an awesome knife. As far as sharpness from the factory, um, someone sharpened them. I could tell you that. Uh, what they didn't do was actually remove the burr. So when you sharpen the metal on a, on a, I guess a grinding belt or something, whatever they use at the factory, they sharpened it and the steel came to a point and then there was a burr. And the burr itself is, is sharp, but it folded over. So it was kind of weird. It wasn't exactly a sharp knife because of that burr. But as soon as I just gave it just a few swipes, extra fine diamond stone, and then stropped it, uh, like they're, they're deadly sharp. Um, I'll just quickly demonstrate here. Ah, got some, got some leg hair, so I have to be super careful not to cut myself because if I put any pressure in the wrong spot, like this knife is going to make me bleed. This knife is incredibly sharp. This might be the sharpest thing I own, but yeah, look at that. That's hairs. So awesomely sharp knives. This, this steel, this 154 CM, like I'm, I'm not a hundred percent on its edge retention because I haven't really used these knives for anything super hard just yet, but, uh, But man, does it sharpen up. And it's it's easy to sharpen too. You put it on a strop and it's, it's beautiful stuff. Uh, like I said, I wish it was something a little more durable steel wise. Cause like these knives will last forever, but it'd be a shame to see like the blade half worn down or something. If you know, you're gonna, you're gonna use it a lot and, and hard. But Tony Bowes actually, I, I watched an interview or I read something, I don't remember which, with um, where he was talking about the invention of the Lanny's clip point knife. And it was, he had a neighbor or someone that was a farmer and, and needed like a really strong folding knife, like a hard use knife. And that's where the, the Lanny's clip point came from was, was that it was, his neighbor was named Lanny. So it was Lanny's clip. And the fact that this, you know, locks as well, just, so much better. So now with Tony Bose's passing, I don't know if Case has any plans. I mean, we're filming this in February, 2022. So, so there was no collaboration knife for 2021. 2020, the year of these knives was the last year. And uh, I mean, it would be cool if they did something a collaboration knife again or had a higher end knife uh, line that they produce with the higher grade steel than the regular you know case steels that they use I mean Respose makes knives I don't know if uh, if they could ever be a Respose collaboration that'd be kind of cool to Respose's Tony Bose's son but anyways I just wanted to to share with you guys uh, how great these knives are. I'm glad I have them. Um, they, yeah, just, just a perfect pattern. I, I don't think even though like the last year, the collaboration and everything, I don't know if I would have bought them if they were like any other thing besides a locking Lanny's clip. This is just like the perfect knife design to me. And then the fact that they're upgraded materials and just the workmanship is better and everything on these. I think what Case does is for the collaboration patterns, they take their very best knife makers, like the very best people at Case. And that's who works on the Tony Bowes knives. Like they would, Tony would sort of be in house for a while to give them some pointers on how to make whatever and how to do certain things. And, uh, and he says this takes you most of the way to one of his custom knives, like these case bows collab knives. They're he's, I've heard him say it. It's mostly as good as one of his knives. So anyways, 
Uh, these are still available a little bit. I know one dealer as of today, February 5th, 2022, that still has not the ebony, probably not the, the red jig bone, and I don't think they have the bone stag, but they have some of the other ones. I think they have the micarta and the brown bone left in stock right now. And uh, I mean, if you can afford it at all, or even do it on credit or rob a bank or maybe, I don't know, like maybe not steal from your mother or maybe steal from your mother. Whatever you have to do to get one of these, if you're all at all inclined, I would say go ahead and do it. Um, these are wonderful knives and, and I'm glad I have mine. And that's all. Paulus Club Prez signing off.